ticket prices being increased because this is the club that Max built. Six and a half years ago, multi-millionaire Max Griggs merged two local non-league teams to form Rushton and Diamonds. League status is the ultimate objective, but with Nen Park full for the first time, this is the biggest day in his young club's history, a vision fulfilled. The Rushton team lacks four regulars through injury, including the club's record scorer Darren Collins, and Colin West, the former Sunderland and Rangers striker, is suspended. Nine of the 11 have played league football, Adrian Foster has scored 13 goals in 13 games this season and Ian Foyer, signed only last week, is a 6 foot 7 inch American international who used to play for Luton. Leeds are defenceless, or at least they're without Radaby, Molinar and Heedon all injured and Weatherall suspended. David Batty is also missing, so Haaland and Hart are required to play out of position and there are rare starts for Clyde Weinhardt and Danny Granville. Typical of so many third round days of Years gone by, cool, bright and crisp at kickoff. Only six times since the war have non-league opposition beaten a side from the top flight. That's the size of Rushton's task and within ten seconds they have a corner kick conceded by Gunnar Haller. John Hampshire, formerly of Chelsea and Fulham, helping to win this early corner. All the Rushton players are full-time professionals. In fact, they have a squad of 27 plus 15 YTS men to choose from. And the flick on, and the header off the line. It was Foster who got to it. And David Hopkin, who was standing right by the post. And Rushton and Diamonds a whisker away from opening the scoring inside a minute of play. They have been working hard on set pieces throughout the past week to ten days. And in fact, it was the post rather than Hopkin. It was that close. Gape, it stemmed from the fact that they allowed Woodgate so much time to essay his way forward. And then, subsequently, allowed Weinhardt to escape inside the box. Granville. Hasselbeck. Granville, or oh, Wooding, was a little leaden-footed. Feinhardt's gone to the near post, Hopkin beyond, and Foyer tipped it over the bar. A run, still Harry Kuehl, good save by Foyer. Not for the first time this afternoon. His trailing leg kept the ball out. But this is Bowyer. Hopkin, tried to curl it! To Woodgate, and that's a foul, and Woodgate, who's already been booked, could be in difficulties here. Because Steve Dunn's first motion was to reach for his pocket. It's a second yellow card. Followed by the red. And Leeds must play out the remaining quarter of an hour. Plus injury time. With only ten men. Jonathan Woodgate, the teenager, sent off for the first time in his senior career. For his second bookable offence. That foul on Paul Underwood. The penalty area. Well, Foster couldn't quite get there, and the header behind by Haller. Showing the signs of raggedness that will encourage Ruston and Diamond still further. John Hampshire to take the corner kick. It's not a bad one either. Foster! Well, at first sight... That seemed like just the sort of chance that he would dream about, and it almost hit him on the shoulder. Couldn't arch his neck round sufficiently. But the whistle goes. A notable achievement for Brian Talbot and Rushton and Diamonds. Vindication of the immense financial backing of the chief benefactor and chairman, Max Griggs. He said that if Rushton achieved a significant result, a draw or a win, there would be a tear in the corner of his eye. And he can be excused a few tears this evening, because the dream is rapidly becoming reality for this remarkable club. And Rushton and Diamond's name will go into the fourth round draw for this year's FA Cup.